Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is going to be for my Scorpio Risings, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but more specifically, my Scorpio Risings. So this October, we have two eclipses and we have these eclipses going on October the 14th will be a solar eclipse in the sign of Libra and a on October the 28th, we'll have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Taurus. And I'm going to tell you Scorpio Rising, because I'm also a Scorpio Rising, um, what houses you need to pay attention to. So, on the 14th, there is going to be a big flare-up in the 12th house for you. Now, this is kind of funny for Scorpios, because we're already intense, we're already very spiritual, well, most of us. But there's going to be way more the gas to the pedal on your spirituality and your subconsciousness and just more spiritual awakenings. If you could imagine, if you've already been through spiritual awakenings, you're literally about to really, really dive deep. So house number 12 is where all my Scorpio risings will need to understand will flare up. There's going to be endings, healing, closure, spirituality, solid, solitude, karma, old age, afterlife, what's hidden, limiting beliefs, and your subconscious. Now, it's basically this. what this says to me, Scorpios, is that in the past two to three years, you've really done the work on yourself. You've really went in and studied did the shadow work, you healed, you have overcome so many obstacles, you were literally a hermit, stay to yourself, most of you, you know, and now it's, this is kind of saying like, hey, it's time for you to come out of the shadows, it's safe for you to come out the shadows, um, it's safe for you to come out and all the knowledge, all the reading, all the inner work you did on yourself, all the spirituality you studied and learned now it's time for you this is kind of baby stepping you and pushing you out into the world to showcase to the world what it is you've learned and help people and that may feel uncomfortable for us corporate risings because we're used to being behind the scenes and we don't really want to be the center of attention however it's time to come out because guess what you're going to be the center of attention and it's going to be focused on spirituality and don't be shameful just own it um your subconscious may also play a factor here another thing that i want to mention for my scorpio risings is there is someone you know what let's just get to the second part and then i'll get to that part so on October the 28th, 2023, there's going to a, be a full moon eclipse in Taurus, which is the last of the Scorpio Taurus eclipses. So you'll feel this, but it won't be so intense. It'll be something wrapping up in the seventh house again. You're like, really? Again? Yeah, again. So that's the house of relationships, um, marriage contracts business partners equality sharing interpersonal style so there's something that will end in order to begin if that makes sense or something that's finally wrapping up that has been working up past eclipse seasons a lot of these things if you want to go back started in november of 2021 and then you can kind of look and see where how it's led to where you are right now I definitely know exactly. I, I can literally go to November 21 and go, oh shit, like something just happened that I had no control over and the other person didn't either. It was God just literally making things happen. And ever since then, whoa, like I'm literally seeing you guys just taking everything you've learned, starting a business, um, implementing in your life, in your everyday life, and just doing amazing things. Now, what I do want to tell you is that there's someone in the ethers that is still in your energetic state. So if there's someone that you can't stop thinking about or you're still having dreams about or you're just checking their social media or um, 
you need to cut the cords. This is time to cut the cords. If there's someone that you haven't talked to in years and you're still thinking about them or they keep crossing your mind, it's literally time to release that, excrete that person from because you're stuck in the ethers in in the 5D or whatever dimension you are in because this person's not a part of your everyday life for years now, but you won't you need to let that go in order to let someone in the 3D world, in the physical, actually come into your life. So, Scorpios, I really need you to understand. It's time to cut the cords. It's it's time to come out and, you know, just all the work you've put in your life, all the hard work you've done on your shadow work, all the hard work you've done, it's time to come out with that and definitely let go of people who don't exist in real the in the physical anymore um let go of the thinking about them let go of the the you know i know you can't help your dreams and your subconscious but this is this is going to kind of force you to face those moments okay so what's most important is that you look up the 12 houses and you focus on the 12th house and understand why it will flare up in any way or form or fashion. Make sure you protect your mental health. Also, addictions may come up. People think addictions, oh my God, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Well, guess what? If you don't drink or smoke, congratulations. But are you addicted to coffee? Are you addicted to shopping online? Are you addicted to sex? Are you addicted to being a narcissist? I'm just saying there's people that are addicted to things they don't even realize are addictions. Are you addicted to social media? Are you addicted to gossiping? I'm just saying there's things that we need to say, you know what? I do this too much and you need to release it. Whatever that is for you. It's not always drugs, people. So look up the 12 houses and understand that in the beginning of the month, the 12th house is going to be flared up for you all the way even to the next six months or year of your life. And towards the end of the month, on that lunar eclipse on the 28th, the seventh house, there's going to be some like ending that started with the beginning and a beginning that starts with an ending. It's, you're going to get some type of message, some type of news or document relating to this wrapping up. But you also could meet someone like literally in that 3D world I was talking about. So um, it's going to feel good for the Scorpios to finally get this eclipse season out of their system and move forward. So I hope that helps you look, uh, put in the comments below how this resonates and contact me if you need a personal reading at all. Thank you.